Whoa! What's up guys? I was all prepared to get you guys a video this week about my thoughts on the flight simulation industry, but lo and behold, there's a new flight simulator. It's called Flight Sim World by Dovetail Games, and it's available on Steam. I saw the trailers, I was really excited, I thought that I was going to have to eat my words about there not being anything new in the flight simulation industry, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't know what the technology is, I don't know like anything about it. They've been very secretive about it and have only kind of told us that it exists in the last couple of days. Also, I'm going to be at Flight Simcom in June, June 10th I believe. I'll see you guys there if you're going to be there. It's at Bradley International in uh, Connecticut and I'll be flying down. So, load up Steam, here we go, and launch the game. I've played Dovetail games before. Um, they, they look really good. Oh god, I hope this is good. Oh, okay, so I, I got it in full screen. I've, the only thing I've done is like turned on to make sure I could record and added my name as a profile and set up like super basic like flight controls, and that's it. So this is going to be the first time that I'm seeing it. Uh, the other thing I did was went through the options, which like, nice interface, I'll give them that. Um, and I just like went and turned everything up to rec what's recommended for my system. Um, which is a pretty powerful system. I don't have the most up-to-date graphics card, but I have a uh, i7-990X Extreme Edition, which is a 6-core processor that I have overclocked to 3.4, or pardon me, 4.2 gigahertz, because I do a lot of video editing. Okay, so that's the options. Um, I, I will show you one thing, which is in their training menu. This is kind of neat, like, to, to go and, and show you how to fly, and like, it, it uh, I'm not sure where it was, but, it loads like a map interface, which is kind of cool. Um, missions? Yeah, yeah. So it loads like a map interface, which is kind of neat. Um, lets you select like missions and stuff. Um, but I'm going to do like a free flight because I feel like flight simulation is really all about catering to the hardcore pilots who are going to use it for training and uh, people who like to fly big, big iron like commercial jets. And the uh, first thing that I notice is that there are none here. I was kind of expecting that. I'm not going to lie. Um, you guys know that this has been through like a number of iterations. There's been Dovetail Flight. All right, the music's enough. Dovetail Flight School or something. I didn't. I didn't buy it. It looked really bad. Um, it was based on FSX technology. I'm gonna fly the Piper Cherokee here because it's close to what I fly in real life. Um, okay. Um, oh look, all the weather themes are the, are the same as FSX default themes. I think we see what's about to happen. This, um, I like this though, this cool map feature here. So like, I, I just said that I my home airport's Martha's Vineyard because I like it down there. I was just there like a couple days ago. Um, so we're gonna fly over to Chatham, I guess. This, I mean, this, this thing's kind of cool. Uh, uh, yeah. How do I get out of here? No, I don't want to exit. Okay, weird. Um, all right, I can just, I'm just gonna do that again, I guess. Yeah, Martha's Vineyard here. Yep, okay. Good. Oh, confirm, I see. Okay, and start, I guess. Well, it's pretty so far, I'll, I'll give you that. Um, yeah, I have a, I had a hunch this was gonna be like built on the same Microsoft ESP simulation platform, which is uh, what FSX and, and everything's built on. If you want my opinion, there's only been one good flight simulator in the last 15 years, and that's FS 2004 or FS 9, which is what I've frankly continued to use for any sort of enjoyment, because there is nothing enjoyable to me about a flight simulator that's running at, you know, 10 FPS and like full of graphical problems. As I say that, if you look at the horizon in this loading image, look at the, look at the clouds, look at the cirrus, look at the line drawn right across through the, through the sky. Oh dear, I know it's about to happen but I'm hopeful. So I must have sat here at this screen for like a good three minutes waiting for it to load. Apparently it's it's done. And, it, and all I had to do was hit start. Okay, well, this looks like... Oh boy. Okay. Um, yep, and it's got the same little annoying things as FSX, like setting your altimeter. The HDR processing looks like hell. Um, the buildings are FSX. The aliasing sucks. Like, goddammit. I just want there to be a good simulator for once. 
Ugh. And the, like, the airplane is, like, clearly, like, I don't know who built it, but, like, I... It's, like, okay, I guess. Can you... I can't figure out how to hide the yokes. Oh, okay. They do hide, I guess. Um, yeah, the switches work and stuff, I guess. Um, how do I get outside? Where's... Where's the rest of the options? Like... <laughs> it's like they just took the... I can't, I can't pan with my mouse. It's like they just took FSX and made it worse. Like, what the hell? How do I... Mm. Outside spot view. Okay, well, that looks awful. Um, this is like, this is 100% what I was expecting. Like, I don't even know why I just paid money for this. I, this is really upsetting, because like, ooh, the flaps are... Yeah, same key combos, FSX, that's F5 to raise the flaps. Um, and things are flickering, and, like, lock spot, yeah. And the shadows, like, just black. Um, is there AI traffic? Um, not that I can tell. I'm gonna figure out where the options are. Like, if they make you quit to change things, like, that's the way I know the train simulator used to work, and which is a dovetail thing. I swear to God. Oh, okay. So I figured, you just have to pause it, and then it, like, brings up their pretty interface. So, like, I'm just gonna... Oh, gra graphics ultra high. That's my bad. Um... Now we're loading. <laughs> and that made like no difference okay the buildings are like higher quality and everything else is like still just as bad okay um ugh, damn flaps how do I does like everything else work uh no the mixture is backwards and flaps don't work, and the trim is backwards. Okay, back in the menu. Uh, I already set these. Why did it not save? And I was even really careful to quit properly. Um, calibrate... no... Okay, so there's no... I just have to search it again? Is that what it is? Yep, there's mixture. Invert. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> it's like... Ugh. That's the mixture, and then I need the trim. Oh, okay. There's only elevator trim. That's nice. Um, in invert. Watch that. You know what? Guarantee it. Yup! So one thing that everybody hates about FSX is that you can't assign... There's a left and a right braking axis, and there's no, like, one main brake, which is the way a Cherokee works. And look, you can't... You can't do it. So all you have is differential braking. So if you have one slider, you're screwed. Um, flaps. Flaps. Flap axis. I don't want an axis. I want buttons. Flaps. Flaps extend. Flaps retract. Parking brake. <laughs> All events. Parking brake set. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let's try this again. How did I get... Come on. How do I get this? Close window. So, okay, now the mixture works and the stuff works, and okay. Watch, control E, I bet starts it. Surprise! And like, they were talking about like how like proud they were of like things shaking. I'm like, this is like a, that's an aircraft thing. Like, I've been able to do that as an aircraft developer for years. You just like set, like there's a, there's a function to do it when you're building things in 3ds Max. Like, it's really not that hard.
it, it was actually easier in FS two thousand four. You could just like link them, um, link them to like one main like object that jittered or something. And like yeah, there's three D gauges. Like get over yourselves. <sighs> Can you tell I'm frustrated? All right, so I guess full throttle and the brakes are backwards. Okay, whoa. All right, so the performance, like this is maxed out settings with like no mods though, and apparently no AI traffic. And the performance is like not great, but it's like the big thing about this game was that it had 64 bit, uh, it was a 64 bit program. Cause the fact that flight simulators are running on 32 bit platforms is atrocious. And so I was expecting, like, a major performance increase that akin to, like, modern-day video games. And here we are. Um, that's like, what? Why is my view, like, offset? Like, I have to zoom out, like, here to get, like, what I actually want to see. Yeah, look. Yup, it's FSX. Oh, there's AI traffic, apparently, with that red, ugly text. Um, yeah. And, like, apparently the view, like, uh, what is this? Like, if I bank, the view, like, goes from side to side? No, it's just, like... Like, what? how are you supposed to use this? Uh, oh, those trees look, like, positively not great. Um, I mean, like, yeah, maybe the ground is, like, a little bit better. Like, the HDR seems really bad, and, like, you can see it's, like, not... It renders, like, really poorly far away. And, like, underneath you is, like, still the same ground textures, but, like, with autogen placement, like, maybe slightly better than FSX? I don't know. Um, and the shadows, like, again, HDR looks, like, bad. Um, the ocean looks, I don't know, acceptable. And guess what? It feels like it flies just like FSX did. Wow! This is why, for anybody who saw my simulator videos on my channel, why I recommend prepared, prepared, Lockheed Martin's prepared instead of FSX, and why I don't like X-Plane, and why I don't like, like, anything. I, I, I hate flight simulation so much, you have no idea. Like, the, what the, what the frick? Oh, I recognize that water texture. That's... That's from flying into, like, you know, Friday Harbor in FSX, and they're using the same vector pack for the roads, and they're, like, really poor resolution. This view is, like, driving me crazy. I can't. And there's, like, some kind of cloud poop. Like, what? Okay. Um. Oh, maybe it's spot view? No. No, it's, like, worse. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, the clouds are, like, not great either. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is ATC. Um, tune departure control. Or nearest airport. Hyannis, I guess. Hyannis, Atis. Oh. It pops up the same thing, and it sounds like... Like an like a sounds like an automated telemarketing call. Jesus Christ! It's it's the same ATC window. It's the same technology. Why is the voice awful? Like, are they all that bad? Are they all the same? Because that would be like very upsetting. I don't even. I'm like over speed. I don't even care. Um, for sure. Oh, it's like pain. Oh, and the window doesn't work either. Okay, there's like different voices, but they all sound awful. That is probably my, like, there's two things I despise about X-Plane, no matter how many people are like, oh, it's so much better. And I was feeling good about it for a while. I thought, like, when I saw the latest version come out, I was really excited. And... What? Okay. Um, I was, like, really excited about it. And then... And then I saw that they still... Like, what is a flight simulation with clouds that look 
awful. Like, like, just look at X-Plane for a minute. Like, look at how bad that is. Like, oh my god. How do you pass that off as a flight simulator? And then here we are with, like, bad clouds again, and then the other worst thing about X-Plane is the ATC is terrible. The voices are awful. Everything is... I don't know why I thought this was going to be any better. Like, I'll be totally honest. Like, I had high hopes. I thought... <laughs> only a... Only a... Piper owner would know this, but the anti-servo tab is backwards. It's like, it doesn't operate like a trim tab. It's, it's the reverse of what assessment does, but only I would know that. <sighs> Do the radios even like tune? Yeah, the radios tune at least. Like, again, as, a, as an aircraft developer, I could do that for, like, any 3D gauge in, like, a matter of minutes. But let's, uh, I don't know, let's, let's just land. Like, dump all of our flaps outside of the white arc. Like, I don't care anymore. We're down, like, the last 100 feet above the ground, and it's finally looking green. <laughs> Did the flaps even go down? Yeah, okay. I did this approach, like, two days ago in real life. Pro tip, it was a lot better than this. And, like, the performance is, like... I'm on ultra-high settings here, and, like... But, but you saw the water. Like, this doesn't look like ultra-high in FSX. Like, it's not half as pretty. Like, that, that, that thing they set you up with in the demo for, like, flying into this approach over this, like, um... Over this cruise ship or something. Like, even that looks better than this. Like, the sh okay, the shadows are okay. I'll give them that. Let's see their advanced physics. <laughs> like, I did that hard on purpose to see if the head would even bobble at all. Like, I bet that they don't even... Oh, oh no! No, I was gonna say, I bet that it's, like, no different than FSX with no add-ons, but if you heard the sound of the door opening, that's... That's A2A's, um, whatever they call that thing. That's right, the brakes are broken. Um, AccuFeel. It's got AccuFeel sounds. The wind is AccuFeel. The doors are AccuFeel. The lines on the ground don't even look better. Like, I'm, I'm done. Like, why, can somebody please make a flight simulator that doesn't royally suck? What? I, this is going to be the first time ever I'm going to go on Steam and I'm going to request a refund. The, the, the shadows are even broken. Like, I'm gonna get my money back for this. This was... I'm... I'm done. I can't... I can't take this. Let, let's just go look at other airports. Like, like, let's just reload this and, like, go look at Logan or something. See if that's any better. How do you... I, well, I bet you can still slew. Ha! <laughs> yep. Let's go slew. There's 4,000 foot cruising altitude. My door is still wide open. Shut that. Oh yes. Oh, majestic. Lovely. Performance at its best. Yes. Is there still top down view? Oh, oh. So, like, what is the ground texture, like, any higher resolution? Is that, like, the big... No. No, it's not. No. No, it's not. Okay, so... <laughs> Tiles still loading. Okay. Is Logan International any better? <laughs> uh, look familiar, anyone? Look, look familiar. Oh my god. This is so ass. Like, just f this whole industry. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The bridge. You can see the bridges through the fog because the graphics engine is broken. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Magnificent. I can't believe... I'm done. I can't believe this crap. I... Well, I guess you guys get the video that I wanted to make about how much I hate this industry someday. I just... I can't... I can't believe... I... I wanted this to be so good. I wanted it to be so better so I could eat my words, but this is... Why can nobody get this right? I swear to God, you guys are going to get that video about me ranting about how much the industry sucks because I can't take it anymore, and I'm going to get my money back, and in the meantime, I'm done with flight simulator videos. I'm going to go to the real world and fly my real airplane that I bought because I couldn't take this crap anymore. So spend the 30 bucks you would have spent on this game and the 70 bucks you would have spent on the yoke and go buy yourself a $100 intro flight at some flight school because it'll change your life. You'll enjoy the real world, get out of your house, and that's what I'm going to go do. And I'm going to go make you guys some real world videos for next week because I can't do flight simulation anymore. It just makes me too angry. Maybe I'll tell you guys what my dark history is with flight simulator one day since you all want to know so badly. But today, I'm done, and I'm going to go flying because it's a beautiful day. Bye.